Glad to see you guys today. We're looking at an axe head that has a profile image of a human on it. Go ahead and show you the shape of the axe head here. Some of you guys have probably seen this one before, but if you haven't, this is a really neat one with the cheekbone and the nose and the mouth. Even if you have seen it before, check it out in these different shadows. This is the perfect timing, early afternoon. So we'll be able to see the cheekbones and the shadows there a little bit easier because just of the timing. Let's go ahead and turn this face away a little bit. And it turns into just a silhouette there. Really great one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh my gosh. It's really neat. We have a few other ones here that we're going to look at below us. And in different shadows and in different lights, we'll go ahead and take a look at this as well because it has some paint on it. Two. Looking at the spot right here, trying to see if I can see the details for the eye right there. Looks like there's some kind of pack inside of it, perhaps. Sometimes they pack crystal inside. It does take getting this close oftentimes to get a good look at the paints and things. And then whenever you zoom out, you can kind of remember what you saw and then put together the other pieces of it. It's got some red back there with the white. You can see really how the jawline right here is pronounced. So perhaps there's some hair coming back here. There's definitely some lines right here. So there may be some other portraits just facing to the right. Of course there are. There's some symbols here too. Looks like another one here. Jeez, even down here. See all the little squigglies and dots and marks and things? Hmm. Very interesting artifact. Let's take a look at this other big face stone here that we found together on site. This one's really interesting. <laughs> it's just a big old head. And you can see again the row of lips that we always see. All the little ripples there indicating several different faces, people. Like the hashes here on the bottom right hand side. This is also shaped like the bird. So I think it's something like that or maybe like that. The round head kind of comes out when you do it like this. So that looks like the bird's beak and the eye and the round head there. Um, with probably the bird's wing right here with it turning its back again. Yeah, something like that maybe. Who knows. But what's really neat about this is on the back side of this, the way that you can hold this, if you look right back here, you'll see that there's little finger spots. And so you can hold this without really putting your hand in the way and kind of pointing it. So you can actually hide your whole hand behind the stone, which is really neat. Let's go ahead and put this one up in different shadows as well. It's a little heavy. The other side also has this thumb slot here, so you can pick it up like this and then get the other characters out. I'll show you how that thumb slot fits in there. Kind of at a bad angle here, but whenever you, whenever you hold it like straight up above your head, you can actually hold it pretty well. I mean, you got to be kind of strong. It's a pretty heavy piece of stone, but it's meant to be held. It's meant to be held like this and then twisted around. There's portraits and things on this edge and in different ways. Really interesting. 
fantastic style of art for sure you see this big bird head with the eye right here so there's probably a like the bird head on top of the person more than likely there'll be a person's portrait in here somehow but the big bird head right here let's get a zoom in on that face there so you can see the eye and inside the eye there you can see the little lines and the brow and everything pretty neat hopefully our sun comes back out so we can take a look at some more of the shadows here but you can see the spot right here for the bird's eye here and he also has a little thumb slot so many of these have little thumb slots to make them fly and things look at his eye there and his beak <laughs> one of my favorites for sure give you a good look at the back side of it back side of it actually has a very large eye i think it's the Birdman of cahokia because he's got that long nose when we tilt it you can see how that nose gets to be that long shape you can see the lips and then he has like a rather large eye might be different eyes too but i had this for a while looks just like a hatchet or a hoe you can see the striations the lines through it i can just tell you it's a hatchet but our state archaeologists won't even say that another thing is that the tool marks on all these stones they've always been here the they say oh well there's no tooling marks there's no there's there's tooling marks on all these i see them on everybody's artifacts i have tons of it flint napping and Lots of the crystal has the curved tooling marks on it. It's not a matter of tool marks whatsoever. It's a matter of the art upsets them, which, I mean, get over it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> anyway, things are going good here. I hope everything's going good for you guys. Springs in the air. This one has a really neat smaller portrait and this see again with that little row of mouths you can see all the little ting ting tings where the mouth is you see all the little ripples and just kind of you know you see all these little textures on here you can see that there's a little different texture right there there's an eye right in that section and when we tilt it there you can see how there's a little cheek really just look at the textures Try to kind of put it together. There is an image in there. There's several little things in there. Even though it just looks very plain. This was a culture of awareness. I can tell that from all the eyes that are on the foreheads of these characters. And with all the little ripples. Maybe able to see the eye in different spots. There's different eyes. But just catch, pull your phone away as well. Just trying to give you a moment to, to get a look to see if you can catch one of them. Um, this art, you know, it does kind of use a little bit of pareidolia, I guess. But the fact of the matter is the, the art's here. The paint and things where the eyes are supposed to be. If you look at the swoops and the spots and the black paint. They are indeed there, and there's different ones as well. There's black painted in ones, and then there's other spotted ones there. If you look at other sections of the stone where the eyes wouldn't be, you won't see those, you know? it's. And then after a little while of studying it and looking at it and looking for these things, they'll pop right out at you. And you'll start to see that it's actually just a style of art. This axe head, just a stone axe. It's a really neat tool. Okay, guys, we have uh, our other artifact here as well, but we'll go ahead and go through him again in part two. He's got a lot more to show, and I could do a better job of showing the story for this one. So we'll get back to him at a later time. Thank you for joining me for this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.